versus Thrall! For Doomhammer, the elements will destroy you. What to do? I wonder... to do. I wonder...
what to do. To North Rend. <laughs> I wonder... What to do? To North Rend! I got this.
I can wait and fish all day. Must cleanse the sun well. I got this. Well played. You win. The Manatide may have stayed alive, and you know more things may have happened. But mm -hmm. yeah, he needed to get lucky, and he got really exact unlucky. Opposite. Yeah, the exact opposite. So that was the huge swing. But I mean, when you're when you're playing a mirror match shaman, you're playing both pretty fast decks. Uh, you're at eight life, and the opponent is at thirty, and he has even at that point as many creatures as you. You know, you're not not really looking. Um, that well. Yeah. Chances aren't with your side. Um, okay. So now they need to think which deck they're going to be picking next. Um, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if uh, Jiyumi sticks with his uh, with his Shaman deck. Um, but I think that we're just never going to see this Wind Fury play like ever we, in this. We uh, did see the Wind Fury play. Oh, we did? Did I miss That's it? That's what I was getting excited about. There was oh. two exciting things that match. The, did the I miss charge, it? The charge with the Argent Commander Flame Tongue Totem Wind Fury to kill the Yeti. Okay. And then the brutal Lightning Storm. Oh. Okay, sorry. So I missed that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Damn. I want to see that Wind Fury play. Anyway, so here we see the, the new decks. Uh, it looks like Portex is going with his Druid deck instead seems like everyone is going to the Druid whenever they're in trouble. It's been doing really well. And, um, yeah, Jiyumi is going to stick with uh, his uh, Shaman deck, as we, as we said. I think that's a pretty reasonable, pretty reasonable thing to do. So, looking at this Druid deck, he's playing the Ancient Watchers with the Taunts. Um, yeah, well, that, that was going on in a lot of the other druid decks that we saw, except some of the hyper aggro ones. I think this is more standard uh, than normal, in fact. So well, you think that one. ancient ancient watchers are like the normal thing to have? Um, I think without them, uh, some of the hunter aggro gets the best of you. 
Um, you still do okay, but I think that really pushes uh, you in the lead. Versus um, Malfurion! It's, it's like a time I must protect the fight with the, with for the Doom Hammer. They are if they and push still. Kill. Yeah. yeah, and still it, it, it can attack you next turn, so it's a pretty good counter to the Hunter, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, other than that, I think this Druid deck is pretty normal. It has the scenarios. Like, scenarios is one of those legendaries which we just saw lately, I think, come up uh, a lot in Constructive. He used to like be really popular uh, when it was 8 mana. Hmm. And that's because, you know, people are playing different type of 2 drops. And, um, well, 8 mana is a lot better than 9 mana for any card. Uh, yeah. So, I can wait and fish all day. But people are still playing like very late game decks. And Scenarius seems late game now, but Shields up. just because there's so many fast decks and so much of the uh, meta is around having a creature on the board. And to accomplish that throughout the game, you just need like annoying pieces of crap creatures. And Scenarius does a really good job of countering them. Yeah, the, the HP and the attack is definitely really strong on it. Anyways, so we're, we're in the game up. now. Um, unless Sportex throws something early on, that, that I got this. Oh. The other type of mana tide totem. Yeah, what? Flame Tonk, you mean? Oh, the Pagan. Oh, okay. You don't see the Pagan? No. Okay, I, I just. Saw it. Wow. Okay, let me. Did he right. draw the first card? No. Did he deliver? No. Nope. No, he didn't deliver. Now it's time. Which I guess is a I got this. Not a good thing. Oh. Hey, Pagel's about to die deliver delivery less. Wow. No yep. fish. None. He's dying but it looks like it's going to essentially trade for the flame tongue totem, which is pretty good in fact. Okay. So yeah, he's gonna attack. I must safeguard. That means that the board is pretty much even at this point. So. Um. Yeah. With the shaman, I feel you generally want to be slightly ahead. Yeah, and it, it's probably gonna drop two totems here, clean the board. Put a yeti. He does. I got this. You don't know what to do. Yeah, definitely need to watch out for those uh, swarms at the turn. Wouldn't be surprised if we see it. And the thing is, he probably doesn't have it. So you can start throwing out more stuff with one HP. Um, so he's taking his time to think about his turn. Yep. What, a, what other thing could he drop in turn four? I must safeguard. The keeper of the grove it is basically makes that zero three useless. Um, um, it, it does make it actually useless because he's already played no. the other one. We have any way to buff it. I got this. I like the what attacking into it with a one one. It's like, hey man, I got a fire elemental. Are you ready for this? <laughs> but he does have a fire elemental. Wow. That's, that's <laughs> some crazy mind games right there, actually. <laughs> Do you think it's actually that what he was thinking about? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna die anyways. <laughs> right. And instead, he's gonna go to Cairn most likely. <laughs> There was a card that um, is actually going to play a It is the Spellbreaker in the Druid deck. Because he's running the double Watchers, he put in the yeah. Spellbreaker, which is actually not common, but I didn't mention it because we were jumping into the game. But... I got this. He's got and, one, and he just saw his opponent play both Keepers. So yeah. he might be confident in playing one of those, and, and he, he might get both. crushed as a result. Yeah. Yeah, I would be surprised. Okay, well, at least he kills both of them with the lightning storm. Oh. That's pretty good, but 
think it was a pretty good turn to actually drop the care right there because he can't drop it next turn now either of the, because of the mana lock. Um, still, he has a pretty good board. It's kind of sad looking at those totems, both silenced. Yep. Just sitting there. Well, the, the mana tide got value. What it it draws do. a card the turn you play it. It takes out yeah. a silence. It's still good. The mana tide never dies without delivering. I'm just curious, what, what are you seeing played right now? Like, what is... Mm, I think... The next card you see played, oh. let me know what it is. Okay. So he's... I wonder... He just dropped the with Yeti right now. Okay. Okay, I saw the Yeti played like four seconds before you said that on our stream. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Let's just watch our stream. Alright. I'll just watch our stream. Yeah. Take on mother. Okay. Okay, so the ancient are not done. Get it on that one. It can't be a good idea. I I think I think you got a problem right now. I think we need some feedback if, if my if my commentary is in sync. So we got the Yeti. This time for sure! Maybe the three legendaries? I don't know. The three My shield the for battle. Argus! Okay. Oh, yeah. is about to be dropped. We have contact. Oh, it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Touch the Here we go. <laughs> and um, he goes uh, he goes for the attack to face the Yeti, ends the turn. There we go. That's that's where I'm at. Hopefully that stuff makes some sense to you guys. Um yeah. In my Apparently screen. I'm so, I yeah. wonder. Yeah. You have to make do here. Yeah, because you can just yeah a lot. I'll just say stuff, and you'll say yeah. Yeah. yeah I'll agree with you. So yeah. Keep going. All right. Yeah. Well, that was a defender of Argus play. Would you say that was good? Uh, it was excellent, actually. Because oh wow. Now he can face Yeah, the Druid's been pretty good having, uh, I mean, they both have four creatures, but the Shaman has two Silence Totems, a Heal Totem, and a Spirit. Yeah. The other one has four creatures that actually do stuff. We're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see a very, a very sad, uh, Shaman. I think he the cannot. shaman wishes he had the bloodlust right now to make use of those useless minions he has. Yeah. He can uh, take out the harvest golem with a stone. Pretty good play because he can then kill. Shields up. The squirrel. Which is, you know, that's useless. Okay. And. Uh, Such a little respect. Strong. Such a little respect for the squirrel. No respect for the squirrel. I have no time for games. Correct way to kill the Argus there. Because the squirrel is useless. You don't have you don't have bloodlust. You might as well kill the creature that you can't kill. Um, just with the axe. Watcher, watcher, Sunny Fury Protector. This is looking grim. This is looking like uh What does he do? Does he gain his silence actually? <laughs> the best part is he just sacrificed the um, <laughs> the defender of Argus with a, with a wrath into the Drake. So now the squirrel gets another chance to do something. Okay, squirrel, here we go. Dude, this is like the hero squirrel. It's foiled too. It's amazing. Yeah, that I thing is wonder. not bad. Pretty sure it's gonna kill the opponent in the end. In case of Sylvanas. I think that's it. You just told him an end turn. Um, two, three, so it stops killing all your totems. That's which true. I think he should have done. Oh no! Oh no! No! Don't do it. The humanity. Is, uh... Oh, 
sacrifice the for one fifth of an ancient watcher. She's so, still thinking about it, yeah? It's not a good day to be a squirrel, basically. Mm. He's nope. still thinking. <laughs> Survive. That means that there's no way, no way. Well, is there anything that the druid can do to take care of the Sylvanas? Oh, the druid ignores the squirrel. BM. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. I'm, I'm actually blown away by this. This squirrel is alive. For sure. <laughs> I think elements guide me. The druid couldn't take himself to kill it because he's there to protect the wild, you know? That's why. But yeah, rip. Rip squirrel. It was, it was uh -oh. a pretty good I think this Yeah. Getting some value back and killing the, the water with the, the lightning bolt. I, I think that. What are you doing? I think the master is going to but he has a sword on the board. 5 5 was otherwise. Nope. Now the tier 3 is going to kill the sword. Oh, the thing is that there's still a squirrel, yeah? Oh, wow. It was a force of nature savage roar combo. And that actually prevented him from losing the game. How do you see into that? I don't know. There is no way. I know for God! You see it happen. That did see happen. We see it come back in uh, no. these games and actually no. turn the tables. Elements so guide me. Nature will rise well, against you. Because of well because played. Of it was a terrible play. Well played. Only if the opponent had and he got lucky, it was a good play. Wow. But then that, he did I, have that. I, I've never seen that done before, actually. No. To, uh... uh you, you would need that was some. Crazy. You need some really good senses to see that coming. Getting the basically really good trades with the um, with the Sylvanas there. Uh, Hundred percent double uh, swipe to the face. Is that it? Yep. Oh. Well, seven minus eight. You can see the seven, right? Yeah, I can see the seven, but yeah, it's gonna be minus one in a second. Does that mean he's he's lost? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When, yeah. When you play Hearthstone and your life total goes in the negative, that's a loss, unfortunately. Ouch. Yeah. Shamans oh. are not not having much luck, man. I think the only shaman we saw win a game was against another shaman. <laughs> yeah, that it has to happen, right? But we have seen that the draw. Not necessarily. Are actually... It could be a draw, but a draw? I don't think it, I don't think it was card possible. Which do a card? Yeah. No, not, not with those cards. You need some kind of Geddon play or something. Some Geddon, yeah, probably. Yeah. Well, we've been seeing that the Druid is... Uh, is it actually, except for mirror matches with Druids, I think it's 100% uh, win rate uh, until now. Oh. Mm. Mm. We'll see if uh, things change in the future. Okay, so... We're gonna have... We need to decide now which... Um, Wait, so that means that... Yeah, they're the even. Game, they're, it's 1-1, one, one, one. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they have to think which will be which will be the last deck that they will choose for this uh, the third match. Actually, the first time we actually have a third match here. Um, do you think that he sticks with the Druid deck? I think he sticks with the Druid deck. Uh, yeah, it seems that way. I mean... 
the history that we just talked about sends to uh, enforce that or reinforce that opinion. Mm -hmm. He seems to. I mean, I'm just. Um, I'm looking at uh, the stream here, and he's he's him being um, silver, of course. He's thinking about yeah. going paladin, I think. And I don't think we've seen a paladin deck play right now. In my experience, paladin does fairly well against the druid, but um, you know things change. You know, a few cards different in each of the decks uh, can often you know, end in a very, very different outcome. So I don't really know what to expect. Not really. Yeah, uh, it looks like from uh, that, uh, from the looks of it, that Portex is actually going the Druid again, as we said. So he's sticking with the Druid. That's um, that's expectable. And we're waiting to see what Jugumi is going to pick as well. Okay, and I've re. I'm I'm hoping that what I just did is going to fix the the delays. Kay. Okay, so yeah. Silver, as you said, is gonna go for the Paladin. Yeah. Yeah, so good insight right there. Hovering over the Paladin. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty good so, at this, you know. People, mm -hmm. like, hover over the stuff right before they click on it, and then I get it exactly right just before they click on it. That's some... Yeah, yeah next level stuff. Next level. Yeah. You can see the future. Okay, so... Uh, the Paladin. What can, what can we, what can we expect from a paladin? Because this is the first time we see it here uh, against the druid. I think that's a pretty usual, like, l late game fight, right? Like, both these these decks are mostly aiming for the late game, with the druid possibly pushing at some point with some charges and some force of nature action. But um, well, I th this is um, this is one of the first times I've seen Scarlet Crusader in a constructed paladin deck. Um, so not only is he running that, he's also running one hand of protection. Wow. And I'm actually when surprised you're running that there's no blood knight in this, with all of these right. uh, shields. When you're running a deck like this, um, you pretty much force your opponent to use a lot of their hero powers, and that ends up in them taking a lot of damage. So, this isn't going to be the drawn out Paladin endgame versus Druid endgame matchup that you know you and I may have seen a few times already. It's if if my instincts you know are correct, I believe this is going to be does the Paladin get Sword of Justice or not type of game because if he does, it makes all these annoying crappy creatures that are otherwise just annoying, but you can still deal with them into uh, mm -hmm. fairly problematic cards for the Druid. I uh, I have some information though that unfortunately this is not the paladin deck which uh, he was he will be playing. He's playing a different paladin deck uh, no. which doesn't doesn't run so many. He doesn't have hand of protection, so looks like uh, yeah this uh, this is not the, the correct uh, the deck. But uh, regardless, I think uh, what you said with a uh, with a uh, no the. Yeah, there we go. So now we have okay. the right deck. At least my screen just popped up. Oh, Double uh, Cult Master. Yes, oh. please. Because as you've said, the more you get, the better they get, right? Yeah. It's um, the well, value count goes up. Paladins do have situational cards, but they're usually like combination. So mm -hmm. shamans are like standalone situational. So draw in paladin is actually very important as well. Uh, you don't need as specific as cards, but sometimes the combinations are devastating. Yeah, and I think the, uh, the Cult Master that you just mentioned, I think Paladin is one of the best classes to use a Cult Master, if any, because of the hero ability. You get so many 1-1s, uh, the tokens, which you can run in. Mm -mm. Well, he's, he's running the synergies. He's got the Cult Master with the Noble Sack, um, which does give you a card. <laughs> Um, yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, I haven't seen a Paladin deck exactly like this before, and I've played a lot of Paladin in the past. But, you know, when you look at it, it looks pretty good. Uh, versus Malfurion. I've seen every card in here. I must protect the one. I will fight with honor. In the past. Another one that's very interesting is Double Faceless. I mean, I've seen Faceless. Wow. So okay. I haven't seen Double Faceless in a very long time. And the other <laughs> unusual thing is... 
It's kind My of like a game Paladin deck, but it doesn't run Tyrion. Well met! Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. That's, yeah, that's really odd when you're running Faceless Mirrors. When you do, when you do like a Tyrion into a meta Tyrion, there's a certain level of depression that uh, goes with uh, one of those like meta breaker things where the opponent saves their Tink Master the whole time waiting for your Tyrion. Then you don't have one and you get away with like, you know, a Tyrion. Well, you'd imagine who's upset in that one. Right, but it is pretty curious that he has a Nisera instead of a Tyrion. Um, yeah. Not so sure which one is the better thing there. But we're going to the game actually. Yeah, I I think you keep the normal sacrifice. Or would you keep it regardless? Um I don't know. I don't use that card in constructed, especially in a slow deck. Yeah, I'd imagine I'd imagine it's solely for the cult master. Because a druid can just attack you and he, he gets one for free. Nothing. Yeah. So I think that card is pretty bad unless you have the cult master out as well. Oh, and there's well, the faceless wrath, which is um, really good because Joy. now you're called oh, the oh, battle. Who, you know, the oh. uh, mm -hmm. But he had, actually ends up using the noble sack right away. That's it might be one of those cool. things where you um, maybe just confuse the opponent. Usually, it is noble sacrifice. Actually, I think it has to be noble sacrifice because all the other ones suck. Yeah, what other could it be? Redemption? Doesn't really make much sense. I for an ah, death and death. <laughs> It was such a good setup play. He like saw the Yeti. That's what he wants. It looks like that's what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Reporting for I am duty. a bit behind again, unfortunately. Yeah. It's Couple of turns. Much expected. Yeah. Um, this, but this Palinek has played a very interesting game so far. If the Cult Master survives the turn, which I don't imagine it would, but the possibility is there. And the possibility just went away with the swipe. Oh. Where shall I start? Well, at least he got some value out of it. With all of them. Um, at least he got like two cards out of it, yeah? Yeah, the value was even, but then he lost that on the top of did lose out. Okay. So now we're seeing him just play the, the harvest column and uh, passing his there. Um, so he has his Sarah in his hand, which he can uh, he can mm. use in the late game. So he's I think when you have his Sarah in your in your deck, you're just hoping to reach that stage. Yeah, you just reach survive. the stage, a clear board, you drop your Sarah. And yeah. the other guy doesn't have a silence or a tink, even with a silence, actually. Uh, if you manage to have the board control at that stage, I think it's it's pretty over. Because the thing is, if you if you don't have the, battle. the board advantage and the board advantage, and you're thinking about dropping Isera when you can play like two or three other cards, which are more, you might end up getting rushed and it doesn't work. So you really need to keep up with the enemy. I feel like True Silver is a pretty decent play here. You can uh, True Silver and Golem, the 4-6, and then Hero Power. And even if he... Okay, he's just gonna face less. Yeah, and that kind of... Because now he can't really play anything. The True Silver was a better option here. It's just that the potential for the faces is so high. I mean, almost every druid deck is going to run a few of the big legendaries. Follow the rule. And I mean, you're all, all, all the for justice. Yourself. Um, but okay. The battle. Maybe, um, a wrath for one. No, nope, it's a wrath for three and two. An innervate swipe, I believe. Oh okay. no. Nope. No. Nope. Wow. Innervate ancient of Lorne. Okay. That's a bit surprising. I would have just mm. Ancient of Lord first. Yeah, exactly. Why wouldn't you? 
Or did he just what draw it, maybe? Do? Not so sure. No, he, he wrapped for three, he wasn't drawn. Oh, right. Back up to speed, by the way. So he didn't drop the... Uh, Mr. Um, and ancient of lore. Ancient yeah. Of, yeah, the Ancient of Lore. He's gonna clear out the other one with the, the tr True Silver. That's looking pretty that good. The yeah, battle! That's looking pretty good, but it's that, um... It's that force of nature. Watch out for Truth is my yeah, shield. I mean, I know it's... Last uh, warning! For justice! Vengeance. has any heals other than the true silvers mm -hmm. so that means that he really needs to watch out because i don't think he has that many taunts either he can oh, he any one. okay yeah the sunwalker is uh it's pretty good here because he can finish Where off the one three as well Shields up. worst case scenario it takes five or four damage in the in the face, which is really strong as well. So, dropping a Sunwalker on an empty board yeah. against a Druid, I think is pretty good. You limit I his options. I think as a Paladin, you really don't care how much life the Druid has right now. Mm. But let me think. I think you really need that taunt. Last that warning. More than anything. Whatever he drops, you kill it and then you give Not it again on my watch. Oh, that's not the case. That's a pretty weak play, actually. Not I think on my watch. Yeah, yeah that sounds a, sounds a bit desperation. Uh, how oh, do you for you no. Could you um, drop Isera in this turn, actually? I don't know, I'm not sure. You can it's, you can definitely it's, play it. It's a risk. Yeah. I think the it's safer actually, option is... It's actually a really big risk, because if you do that, you're dead to Savage or uh, Force of Nature. So hmm. I actually don't like that at all. This time for sure! Yeah, this... this uh, is getting three Divine Shields this game. This guy... No! The King. Everyone buffing him up. The Sunwalker, yeah. The Sunwalker, and yeah. Um, there'll be a queen. It's, it's it's the female cow paladin. Oh, is it? Are you not familiar with the aesthetics of this glorious oh, creature? Wow. So I battle. never thought it was a female. God. Female Torrent, yeah? Yeah. Female Torrent Pally. Oh, there's the Tink Master. That's what he was... <laughs> that's, that's exactly what he was hoping. Wow. Well, except that other part. I wonder. A lot of creatures. Because now we might get a savage roar if we don't draw the consecrate. And we draw the consecrate. All right. Okay, we're back in business. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, it did die. The, the spell damage died, so it's just gonna be for two. Mm. Um. Okay. This is. Uh, he can clear actually the board here, I think. Pretty good. Um, Maybe leave like yeah. one one creature. We well, must we cleanse the sun well. Yeah, this is my combo. responsibility. Yeah. And it's going to This is going my to force responsibility. You to play a way. And usually it's not oh, the battle. Reporting yeah, for two. Job done. Best play is Shattered Sun. There might be legendaries you'd want to silence. Take heart. Yeah. Shields up. You attack with, that. You attack with the dinosaur. Your magic the shall armor. not save you. Yeah, finish it off with the. <clears throat> no. No. Okay. Truth is my to push for some damage at the end. Yeah, This is sure my responsibility. The safest option here. Oh. Oh. Push forward. I mean, oh. three more damage, but you lose a 2-2, two -two, 
so you'd gain damage if you'd have two more turns, which I don't know if you do. The battle! And now you do. <laughs> okay. Okay, good thing he hold, held on to that silence. That was certainly yeah. the correct way. Yeah, definitely could could have used the silence before, but uh, now I think he has lethal, right? Uh, five. Hmm. No. no. Oh, he's actually one off. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, never mind. A lot off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, I'm a little bit behind again. Damn it. Okay, so he he's probably gonna run the five five. Oh, actually, I think Risky he's. Play, though. Yeah. Hmm. He's uh, he's trying to defend himself from. He is dead to the, to the combo. Do you think that's the last two cards he has? I think it's unlikely. I must safeguard. <laughs> It's not safe to drop his hair. Justice so, shall prevail. I think if you have a clear board. Follow the rules. I have no time for games. So, Hordex taking his time, seeing if there's any out for him. Probably not. Looks like he's going for the uh, half combo. Which is pretty sad looking, I have to say. Mm. Hmm, I wonder. Okay, so. Yeah, I think now you just make the uh, the Cairn really crappy and Sylvanas push for damage. Who dares to never know, I guess. Like, because this burst is out as well, that means that you are uh, pretty safe from any... Yeah. Gotta follow the rules, kill it. Um. Justice shall prevail. Let none survive! Because he would take the spell damage creature. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. Oh, Scenarius. Hello. Okay, so he drops scenarios. Wow. Actually, scenarios, it has two things you can do, but do you have you ever seen it played with uh, the other option other than the two two taunt creatures? Have you seen it with the? Uh... Yeah. People tend to do that when they go for for lethal sometimes. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, he's dead to savage roar. Uh, we know that he he didn't have it, so he'd have to draw it now. We have Your magic shall not save Come back into the game. Um, in fact, he hasn't done already. Probably lost. I can see. Oh, so, yeah. Well played. If you have. Mage. 